Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I have got some decluttering for you as usual as we continue on our journey to have less stuff in our home and some cleaning motivation as well. We are taking care of some seasonal decluttering of our entryway and entryway closet, getting rid of some things in one area that I've never decluttered on camera before. And then of course, as I mentioned, there is some cleaning as well to hopefully motivate and inspire you. So I really hope you enjoy this week's video. Every single season, pretty much, or at least twice a year, I have to go through our entryway closet and get rid of some things and also just rearrange for the upcoming season. I had not taken out our winter coats or anything yet because we were still having some kind of cold weather up until recently, but it is finally time to get those things out of here. So I decided to go through all of the jackets and I did end up decluttering a couple of my jackets that I'm going to donate. I'll show you guys those in a little bit. And then anything that I was planning to keep, I took out and I brought downstairs into our winter jackets bin because we just don't have the space to store those in here year round. This space, when you walk into our home, is very small and very cramped, as you can, I'm sure, tell from this angle here. So I feel like it falls apart very quickly and I try really hard to keep it organized and to stay on top of it, but it's just really hard because we're always in a rush, running out the door, and then when you get home sometimes, you've got a bunch of things you need to carry in from the car and you've got kids to get out of car seats and just so much going on. So it's hard to keep this space organized and I feel like I have to do this all the time. One thing about my husband is that he is a shoe guy and by shoe guy, I don't mean he's buying like expensive pairs of sneakers or anything like that, but I feel like he orders shoes on Amazon pretty frequently. And so we have like lawn mowing shoes and then we have work shoes and we have yard work shoes and we have gym shoes and we have shoes that are meant for a specific day when he's at the gym. And then he's got house shoes and going out shoes and slippers. And there's just so many pairs of shoes. It's crazy. And whenever I go through this closet, I don't want to get rid of his shoes on him without asking him. So I'm not getting rid of any pairs of his shoes today, although it could definitely use another declutter. What's interesting though, is that I am not a shoe person at all. I do have some pairs of shoes in our closet that I should probably go through and get rid of, but as a general rule with me, I will buy one pair of shoes and I will wear them to death and I will wear them every single day. And like I've had my Birkenstocks, I want to say it's like 11 years or something. I just really don't like to buy shoes and I like to break in my shoes and just continue to wear them all the time. So I don't have nearly as many as my husband does. I'm not sure if the microphone is picking it up, but I'm sitting by the window doing these voiceovers and there is a bird like aggressively squawking outside. So if you hear that, I apologize but it's a beautiful day here. I absolutely thrive in the summertime and in the warm weather. It is my favorite time of year, so I take advantage and keep my windows open and I sit by the windows when I do my voiceovers because it makes me happy. The only jackets that I kept in this closet were light jackets because there's always that occasional day that you need one if it's raining or if we just have a random cold day. So I kept out the light jackets in and I put them inside the closet. And then on our hooks here, I'm going to put my like bog bag knockoff. I think it's by Simply Modern and then some hats so that we have things ready when we're like heading out to the beach. I plan to spend a lot of time at the beach this summer with my kids. But this is stuff that I'm either getting rid of or I'm moving it downstairs into our winter jacket bin. I am getting rid of all of these pairs of shoes though. They're things that don't fit the kids that were falling apart. And then a couple of my pairs of shoes that I've had forever that I no longer wear. I would love to know if you have a coat closet or an entryway closet, if you switch everything out seasonally or if you just leave things in there year round. I'm really curious how other people do it. I'm going to be sharing with you guys the jackets I decided to donate from this closet and then we are going to take a break to talk about today's sponsor, which is Ninja Transfers, so stay tuned for that. 
it's really hard to tell on camera but this white north face jacket is so dirty and i've tried to clean it a couple of times and i've been unsuccessful i am going to donate it because it is a really nice jacket and hopefully someone else can get it clean i'm sure there's somebody out there who can and then i'm also donating this jacket and those two jackets as well i'm obviously always so grateful for my sponsors but every once in a while i get to work with one that i am just so excited about and this is one of those i am working with ninja transfers for today's video and i ordered a 10 foot gang sheet full of designs so that i can make all kinds of like customized apparel you guys know we're going to disney in September. I, I mean, I'm sure some of you know, maybe not all of you know that, but we are going to Disney in September. So I got a bunch of designs printed so that I can make us like customized shirts for Disney this year. And then I got a bunch of other, I was just going crazy. I was filling up the gang sheet with as many designs as I possibly could. When I received this in the mail, I like ripped it open immediately. So this is my gang sheet right here. And again, it's 10 feet long. And if you don't know like what this is exactly, they are DTF transfers which i think stands for direct to film so you upload your designs or you use their um, gang sheet builder on their website and they print these for you you can use like a heat press or i have a cricut easy press so that's what i'm going to use today the colors they printed so beautifully right? it's just it's just going to keep going there's so much i'm so excited about this so we have up top here i have like a rock and motherhood um design here and then we have our disney shirts that i'm gonna make for all of us and then we've got another kind of like mom design here with the tired moms club these are more disney shirts my son is so into cars right now so i wanted to get us all rusty shirts for disney i also made my kids birthday boy shirts for both their birthdays that they have coming up this year we got more disney here and then i have i have a couple of like Taylor themed designs and this one I just thought was really cool and like modern for a t-shirt. There are tutorials on Ninja Transfer's website for everything from how to use their gang sheet builder to how to apply the product. So I followed their Cricut Easy Press tutorial exactly. I set mine to 325 degrees for 20 seconds. I laid down the protective sheet on top of my design, used some light pressure with my Cricut Easy Press, and voila. The key that I found to lifting off the film from your design afterwards is to give it a minute to cool. You can fan out the shirt a little to help and then it just lifts right off easily. And then I went back over it with the protective sheet and my easy press just a couple more times to really make sure it locked it in. But it was so simple and honestly so fun too. Ninja transfers work on every type of fabric and color with any design that you desire. If you're a business owner and you need apparel made for your employees or you're looking to start a business selling apparel and need DTF transfers, or you're just like me and you just wanna make a bunch of fun custom designs for you and your family, Ninja transfers is incredible. The pricing's super reasonable, the shipping is really fast, and the quality Quality cannot be beat. The colors are vibrant and none of the details are missing. Again, they have tutorials on their site for how to do it all so you're not just going into it blind. I had never done this before and I found it to be incredibly easy. And they have other products as well like for example custom embroidered or woven patches. They have leather patches and so much more. Please ignore the disaster behind me but I wanted to just show you like some of the end results. So this is my toddler's Disney shirt. The colors are just so vibrant and beautiful. And then also like this one was a white one and it's so crisp and it, it just feels like it was always on the shirt. Honestly, I am so impressed. I cannot wait to make the rest of my shirts. They actually sell on Ninja Transfers websites like t-shirts of all different designs and cuts. They have infant and toddler sizes. They have hoodies and crewnecks and they have hats and they have bags and they just have everything. So if you need blank apparel, for your designs you can also purchase those all from ninja transfers so like it's like a one-stop shop but um i need to get some more <laughs> blank apparel so that i can finish making the rest of my shirts but i am so so excited about how these turned out i just love them and i know you guys are gonna love it too so i'll have ninja transfers linked in my description box down below i'm gonna be wearing this shirt for the rest of the video because I just love it but i want to say a big thank you to ninja transfers for sponsoring today's video and being like one of the coolest sponsors that i've ever worked with now this is the drawer that i've never i don't think at least i don't think i've ever decluttered this on camera before but this is my sock and underwear drawer so we're gonna keep the camera back a little bit because we're all friends here we're i mean i think most of my audience is women it's fine but i still don't really want like you know a zoomed in shot of my 
sock and underwear drawer, but I desperately needed to go through this and I was really procrastinating on doing this and I figured, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to film it because then it forces me to get it done. And I just had way too much in here. I had a bunch of mismatched socks that I needed to match together. I had just so much stuff in here that didn't belong. So I wanted to go through it and make this more manageable. And also underwear is just one of those things that you're going to want to replace every so often. And I had some pairs that were just way too old that I never wear and it was time to get rid of them. And I wanted to be able to give myself permission to maybe buy a few new pairs. And in order for me to do that, I had to get rid of some. Another reason why I wanted to do this is because most of the clothes that are kept in this dresser are actually my husband's. Actually, all the drawers except for this one are my husband's. And then on my side of the room, I have a dresser and all of the drawers have my clothes in them except one has his. So I really wanted to be able to switch that out so that he could have all the drawers on this dresser and I could have all the drawers in the other dresser. It just makes the most sense. But the other drawer on the other side of the room is smaller than this one. So I had to get rid of some things in order to fit it in there. And hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we can do that swap because it just, it just makes more sense. doesn't look like much because you know this stuff is small but I did get rid of quite a bit and this sports bra that I've never worn from Lululemon I decided to donate as well and now we are moving on to a different day this was actually filmed before I filmed the other clips but I just felt like the decluttering should go first and then we'll end the video off with the cleaning motivation so we're starting off outside actually this is our deck and everything was completely covered in pollen we went through a couple of weeks where the pollen was just awful so i did this every single day where i went outside and cleaned off the deck and sprayed everything down to try and get rid of the pollen and just we're all kind of suffering from allergies at this time of year and i think it's because of all this pollen so try to stay on top of it with rinsing everything and i just figured i would film it because it's kind of satisfying to watch all the pollen get washed away Since we moved into this house in 2021, it was like mid 2021, we have never properly set up our deck. This year, I really wanted to do that and make it a priority. So we got this pergola from Wayfair. It was pretty affordable. We got this really affordable outdoor rug from Target. The egg chair was a little bit expensive. Those just are so pricey for some reason. But we set up this corner where we have shade and we have seating. And then we also got a new table this year as well, which you saw a couple of clips ago and we just love it. This space is so much more livable now and we're just so happy with how it turned out. We're inside the house now and I'm just gonna do a little bit of tidying up. My son is still really into chess, so we always have this chess board out and that was pretty much the only thing that was on our island was the chess board and an iPad and a random card. But yeah, we're just gonna clean this off so we can wipe down the island, but I'm just always so proud of myself when this island is not covered in stuff. We've been doing so good at making sure that everything gets put away. I had run out to Target earlier in the day really quickly, so I figured I would just show you the few things that I got. Nothing like overly healthy or special, but I was just putting these things away. And then I ran into Old Navy as well because I have been on the hunt for jean shorts that I really like. And I also needed a couple of pairs of pajamas for Sutton. So I grabbed those. I found some jean shorts that I really liked and a couple of t-shirts as well. So that was fun. We're just going to put those away. And now I'm going through the fridge. The fridge was so full of, you can see like all these leftovers and we just did not eat them. I feel like because we have all these matching containers in there with the leftovers, we didn't know which was which or at what point they got put into the fridge. And so no one was eating them because we just didn't know what anything was. So anyway, had to get rid of all of that to make some space. This fridge was so cluttered. It was driving me crazy. 
the fridge is definitely due for like a deep clean but i just did not have the time for that on this day so instead i'm going through everything and getting rid of things that we aren't eating or that have gone bad or expired and then pretty soon i will do a more deep clean of the fridge but again just did not have the time for that on this day random little thought here as i restock the fridge I've been getting comments on some of my videos recently asking if I got contacts or if I had like LASIK eye surgery or something because I have not been wearing my glasses. No, I did not have either one of those things. I had a procedure done like a couple months ago now and I couldn't wear my glasses at first after. So I just got used to not wearing them and now I feel like, I mean, I'm sure I should be wearing them. It's probably bad for my eyes to not be wearing them. But I feel like I can see fine without them. Like my eyes have adjusted. I don't know. So I just haven't been wearing them and I probably will get contacts at some point. But it's just been really nice to not have them on my face all the time and feel like I can actually like see myself again. But yeah, we are emptying out the recycling and now we're emptying the dishwasher so I can move on to loading it back up. I didn't have that many dishes in my sink. I feel like it looks like a lot because I had some bigger things in there, but the sink just smelled bad. So I really needed to get this emptied out, all the dishes put into the dishwasher so that I could properly scrub out the sink with my like sink cleaner and just help freshen it up. In this video, I actually filmed this right before I filmed my declutter of the basement, which was like the second part. I posted that last week. So if you're wondering about my same outfit, I'm sure nobody picked up on that. But if you are one of the few who maybe picked up on that, I filmed this prior to filming that declutter that day. And I'm so glad you guys are loving my basement declutters. I'm definitely planning to film the next one very, very soon. You guys seem to enjoy it very much, um, but I wanted to clarify one of the things that I was seeing in the comments a lot on that video, and that is that I said I was saving some of the clothing, like my, ba my kids' baby clothes, for future grandkids, and I did not mean I'm going to dump all of my clutter onto my future daughter-in-law. That is absolutely not the case. I just meant if my future daughter-in-law or whoever wants a couple of like vintage outfits so they can match their dad in like a side-by-side -side photo or something like that's I just think that's a cute idea so that's all that I meant by that I definitely would not put like the burden of decluttering all of my things on my future daughter-in-law that would be awful I plan to be a really really great mother-in-law someday and that would totally not classify as a great mother-in-law My counters were just looking way too cluttered for me. It was driving me crazy. We have been on this decluttering kick all year long, but I still find that things do tend to get piled up on the counters. I feel like once it gets to a point where it's really bad, it just becomes such a daunting task that it only continues to get worse and I procrastinate longer on taking care of it. So I wanted to get all of the clutter off the counters today and start fresh. It's so much easier to stay on top of it when you have a fresh, clean space. And like I said, when it starts to pile up too much, it becomes just such a task and I end up procrastinating on it for a really long time. So anyway, we we're going through all of this paper here. A lot of it was mail. Some of it was my kids artwork and I just had to get everything where it belongs. I really do want to get into the habit of going through my mail as soon as my husband brings it in. Sometimes though, he will go get the mail at like eight o'clock at night. And at that point I am done for the day. Like I'm not going through the mail. And so that's how it ends up piling up because I'm not usually the one who grabs it. Maybe I should be, I don't know, but I need to start getting into the habit probably of going to grab the mail myself and just going through it immediately and not letting it pile up. I did a video a few months ago where I made these crates for my kids artwork and I have all of their different grades of school divided out in different folders and it has been wonderful for helping me to save some of their school work but also it limits me on how much I can actually save because they're not gigantic bins but anyway I will link that video in the cards 
if I remember to because I just am really happy with how that turned out. My next project was cleaning the windowsill in my kitchen. It was really bothering me. There were all these cobwebs up inside of the window. So I wanted to clean out the cobwebs, vacuum all of those up, and then also wipe down the windowsill itself or the window tracks. And to do this, I've discovered the easiest way ever. And I wish that all of my windows were by the kitchen sink because this is just the best. So I spray some Dawn dish soap. I just scrub it down with this Rubbermaid electric scrubbing brush or whatever it's called and then I open up the window just a crack and I turn the faucet around and I just clean it off with the faucet and it's amazing and all the water just goes outside and I end up with perfectly clean window sills or at least the kitchen window sill because of this and it's like the easiest way to get this done. I of course make sure to dry everything off really well, but for the most part, water does not spray anywhere else inside my house. It all just goes out the window. So this method I found has worked really well. Here's the after. I wish so much that I could do this with all of my windows, but none of the other windows have a sink directly underneath them. We're gonna do just a little bit more cleaning here in the kitchen before we move on to Sutton's room. I had a little bit of work to do in there. So I'm scrubbing down my stove top using the pink stuff and a scrubbing brush. This one is like a very soft bristle brush so it won't scratch the stove top, but I wouldn't probably use any other brush on this. I only did this because I had run out of like sponges that I typically use with this pink stuff on the stove top. Underneath Sutton's little kitchen helper here, there's always so many crumbs. So I wanted to quickly sweep those up before I move on to his room. So I had a little bit of tidying up to do in here, but actually my biggest project was going through his clothing, which I, you guys saw last week, if you watched last week's video, I went through all of my children's clothes. I decluttered four full trash bags worth and it felt amazing. And I only kept like the really special things or the neutral things in case we do end up deciding to have another baby down the line. I organized everything in my basement. It looks beautiful. I'm really, really happy with the collection of clothes that we ended up with. But this is actually like what you're seeing here is what sparked me to want to do that project on this day because I was going through Sutton's laundry and I had to take out everything that was from the cold weather since we aren't needing that anymore. And I was just thinking to myself, like, where the heck am I going to put this? I have so many bins down there. I don't know what's in what bin. And it just was stressing me out. So I was like, you know what? I'm tackling that project once and for all so that when I do go through my kids' clothing, it's easy for me to find the different size bins. It's not such a horrible, daunting task that I have to look forward to and dread doing. So this, what you're seeing here, like I said, is what sparked me to want to get that done, finally. I was fully aware that we had way too much clothes, but I didn't know exactly how much we had until I actually grabbed all the bins and brought them upstairs from the basement to go through them. And I realized we had way too much. And I had a lot of people saying in the comments on that video, like this was hard to watch. There was just way too much. I could never have that much clothes for my kids. I thought you had like three or four kids with how much clothing you had. And again, I get it. It was way too much. I truthfully don't have an explanation for how we collected so much, especially since we have two boys. But I would say probably my biggest downfall is that I'm such a people pleaser. And when somebody asks me, oh, I just went through all my kids' clothes. Do you want the hand-me-downs for your boys? I would always say yes, even if I knew I didn't need them, just because I'm, I didn't want to 
like hurt someone's feelings and I just I don't know I felt like I was obligated to like I said I'm a people pleaser so I was given a lot of hand-me-downs and then I also had purchased things for my kids and then both of my boys were born in opposite seasons so that was another factor where I ended up having to buy more clothes for my second because I didn't have anything that was like the current season and the correct size so yeah, there was a lot of factors that went into how we collected so much. It's still not really an excuse, but I can only try to be better moving forward. And I definitely do not plan on ever collecting so much clothing for my kids ever again. I went through every single one of Sutton's drawers and got rid of anything that was for the winter and threw it into a laundry basket, which I then went through in last week's video. I know that's probably confusing. And same with this closet here. I took out everything that was for the winter time except for like a few sweatshirts in case we had a colder day. And I went through those all in last week's video as well. So if you're interested in watching that, if you haven't seen it, I will have that linked in the cards right here. Um, but that is it for today's video. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out Ninja Transfers. I am like just thrilled about how my, my t-shirts and stuff came out. It was so much fun. Probably one of my favorite sponsors that I've ever worked with. So I would really appreciate if you guys go check them out and show them some love. But that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I hope that I will see you again next week for another video.